front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. I'm a little sunburned. I was out in Berea all day yesterday filming trains with uh, Chris Stanton and our friend Joe who showed up. So that was a really nice time. But driving around showing Mary parts of Cleveland, we were just driving along Route 322 and came across the IHOP here that's been abandoned since 2015. That's when it closed. I never did a video here. I always forgot about it. It's right here in Cleveland Heights at the Severance Town Shopping Center. That may, that, that may ring a bell with you because I did a video several years back at that abandoned Walmart right back there. Now it's all papered up. Really can't see inside of it. All the lights are off now. Finally something happening with it. I assume. But yeah, we're at the Severance Town Shopping Center, which is not doing so hot to begin with. Which, by the way, it impresses me that this BK back here is still open as a result and with their troubles. But anyway, let's check out this IHOP. It's been closed now since 2015, so here we are in 2023. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. There's IHOP. They have papers all over the windows, but as you can see, a lot of them have come off. Lights are still on, too. Now, for me, anytime I even see an IHOP that's still open, I think I'm impressed with that more. Only because the very last time I ever went to IHOP, it was very subpar. And I had gone to a couple before that, and it was okay, wasn't my favorite, but I really thought that the last time I went, it was subpar, to say the least. And I'm talking about the one near Homestead, PA. That's the only one that's still open in the Pittsburgh area that I know of. There might be another one still, but that's the only one I know of. And it just was not pleasant. They had an outdoor seating area here too. That's really cool. Picnic tables all set up here. I was going to say, I'm sure we could walk right in there too if we wanted to oh no they have a chain shut so okay that's okay take a look through these windows here anyway if i can I'm gonna try to Oof, gotta lean in there there you go can kind of make it out in there you try and block out the light a little bit there you go look at that nice and tasty in there <laughs> But that's it. Anyway, I, I mean, if you like IHOP, you like IHOP. That's, I, I get it. It's cool. They used to be better, though. I, I thought. Another look into the restaurant here. And we'll go over to the other side where you can see in way better than this. Yeah, you can still see lights are all on. I assume the climate control is still working because, I mean, the place still looks excellent other than them tearing things out. Like, from what I could see, the roof still looked good. Now, these are all papered up, so you can't really see that one there. We can, but I think we'll get a better view from the other side, but we'll still look through this window anyway. Now, look, there's the IHOP uh, blinds. Yeah, looking at the ceiling, there's no water damage. I mean, one ceiling tile is gone, but I don't see the pieces of it laying on the floor. So they might have gone up there to do something and just said to heck with it and threw it to the side or threw it away. The IHOP blinds. Hilarious. Take a walk over here. Um, I guess we can look through this window here. Oh yeah, you can see in there pretty good. Still got some booths in there. The tables are all gone. They probably sold those. Took them to another location, maybe. Oh yeah, I see. They, they removed some ceiling tiles, but they're up there. They just moved them out of the way. Probably gonna get up into the ceiling. Deal with any leakage or electrical work. I mean, if they want to sell the building... 
want to keep it in top shape and I mean this is in pretty darn good shape I'm not gonna lie it fascinates me that the lights are always always on I assume they're always on International House of Pancakes emergency exit yeah you definitely don't want to go through this door that wouldn't be good I just love that they had an outdoor seating area. I'd never seen an IHOP with an outdoor seating area before, personally. Hmm. Garbage area. Don't know what we can see in there, if anything. Well, let's take a look. Uh, not much, I can't really tell. It's all loaded full of trash and weeds. All right. Well, we did that, and speaking of garbage, come on, people, clean up after yourselves. Yep, International House of Pancakes. Paint's peeling off the outside. Need a little TLC. Not much, though. I'll say that. Not much at all. Just a shame, because I used to like them. But, I mean, there's a reason why they closed up one by one by one, and... All exited the Pittsburgh area anyway. And I mean, a couple still hung on. And I, I think, like I said, I think there's only that one left in the Homestead area. I smell a skunk big time, and I really hope I'm not near it. <laughs> it's super close, and I really don't want to get sprayed. Super close. Oh, boy. Hopefully it's over there. <laughs> I do not want to get sprayed by a skunk. That is strong. And there's a look from this side. Tables and chairs out here. Yeah, I love that they have that. Or did. But not anymore. Anyway, guess that'll be a wrap. Yeah, good. I, you can't smell the skunk over here, so I know I'm safe over here. Should be. I didn't hear anything in the weeds or bushes, but over there it was putrid. <laughs> oh, they got a Burger King crown. Oh, man. Look at that. It's a, what a shame. You're wasting them. That could have gone to good use. I could have made myself look like an idiot wearing that thing. And you know me, I like to make fun of myself and joke around. Anyway, there's a look at that Walmart real quick. Get that fly off my hand. Not much going on with it. I know you can't really see much because of the trees, but we drove past so you can't even see inside of it anymore. But there you go. In Cleveland Heights, Ohio, IHOP. Yeah, I used to like their food years ago. Like I said, the last time it was just not good. And it's just a shame. It seemed like I had mac and cheese with my meal. And it really seemed like they had just got Kraft mac and cheese out of a box like you make on a stove top or throw in a microwave real quick. And I was just disappointed with it. And I know it used to be better. Kind of like Boston Market. They used to be better back in the day, and now they're almost completely extinct, too. There's not many of them left. I think they're all out of the Pittsburgh area now. I don't know if any still open. But that's what happens when you have competition, I guess, and they do better, and... You just have an owner or whatnot that just doesn't care so much. Or they try to or think it'll turn around, but it doesn't. You have to change things up, and sometimes they change it for the worse, or they want to save money, so they go for cheaper ingredients, cheaper quality products, and that doesn't always work well. And people get mad. They don't like the quality. They stop going there. They'll go to someplace better, and then this happens. So, unfortunately, that's a wrap on this. See what else is out there. Just kind of driving around. I wasn't even planning on doing a, an abandoned video, but it was right here when I was showing Mary the Walmart. I figured, why not? And I showed her the movie theater on the other side, which is also abandoned, but I don't really see that it's worthy of a video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, this one. And if you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content. It's really sunny, so I'm going to get in the car in the nice AC and take off. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay awesome. Bye.